Thank you guys and welcome to season 7 episode 44 of Tic Tac Do, the my favorite game show of all the games I like to do on my channel. Glad to have you with us. We have an awesome time. I can feel it in my bones right now. We have a big call today. Alright, so we're going to do a Trivia Pursuit episode. Yesterday was a bad day yesterday, wasn't it? Uh, stupid dragon. Somebody needs to fix him. I'll fix him, alright. But that's another story altogether. <laughs> yeah, this is a... This is a PG... This is a P... This is a PG rated show, Eric. <laughs> that's why I say spay and neuter him. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> you know who else needs to be spaded and neutered? The the Cubs, the Chicago Cubs. That's all I got to say. Yep. All right, so let's get to this game. Justin is the champion with $36,500. How you feel, Justin? That's good. And playing him is our new YouTuber, Charles McInnes. Is that how you pronounce your name? It's Charlie McInnes. Charlie McInnes. You from Canada? Yeah. And uh, uh, what um, grade are you in? I'm in grade 7 going into grade 8. All right. Well, good luck to you. We're going to have an awesome time. I know it. Let's do tic-tac-toe, y'all, shall we? Here are the nine categories that we're doing today. We have history in the yellow. We have opponent's choice, entertainment, geography, arts and literature, the jumping category. I'll explain what that is. If you hit the jumping category, y'all too will have a chance at that box at the same time, okay? And then y'all have and y'all will have to jump in on that in the chat box. We have science and nature in the green. Bonus category is a three-part question. You answer that three-part question correctly, you will have another turn immediately. And we have sports and leisure in the orange. Justin, if you please, go ahead and start it. All right, here we go. Let's start with uh, history. Go into history in the yellow. Good luck to both players. Here we go. All right, this is a true or false question, Justin. Confucius was a Chinese philosopher and political figure. True or false? I think that's true. Nicely done. $2,000 is in the pile to shuffle off that board. That's a great start for Justin. Yes, sir. What do you think, Charlie? Where would you like to begin? You can pick any category on the board you want to, except for that first box. All right, I'm going to have to pick um, Geography Blue. And in the Geography, and I'm going to tell you, in the, in the center box is a two-part question, Charlie. So you must answer two questions right to get that box, okay? Alrighty. And that box is worth $3,000. Here it is. First, where is the world's tallest waterfall located is it a costa rica b venezuela or c the united states of america that's the first one and the second one which is not a city in spain is it a barcelona b madrid or c milan here's your time to think about both of them charlie um i'll read it again here all right, so I'll read it again. Um, where is the world's tallest waterfall located? Is it A, Costa Rica, B, Venezuela, or C, the United States of America? And the other one is, which is not a city in Spain? Is it A, Barcelona, B, Madrid, or C, Milan? I'll give you 10 seconds to think about it a little bit, then I'll give you your answer. 
Can you answer it? Um, just think about it, Charlie. Don't you don't have to answer just yet. Okay. Um, wait. Okay. All right, Charlie. You ready to answer it? Yeah. Okay. Which one you want to start with first? The uh, I'll go with the waterfall one. Okay. Where is the world's tallest waterfall located? Is it A, Costa Rica, B, Venezuela, or C, the United States of America? Oh, um, is it the United States? No, I'm sorry. It's not the United oh, States wow. of America. Nice try. Oh. What's the answer? Venezuela? It is Venezuela, yes. And the other one, which is not a city in Spain? The answer, do you know that one, Charlie? Um, what are the, the options? A, Barcelona, B, Madrid, or C, Milan? Um, oh, they all sound like, um, I'm going to have to go with Barcelona. No, it's actually Milan. I'm sorry, Milan, okay? Oh yeah, those was kind of tough. Milan. Italy. Yeah. I knew it. Yeah, so we shelf up the board. Sorry about that, Charlie. And Justin, uh, it's your opportunity. Alright. Entertainment. Okay, he's going to entertainment in the lower left corner. Here it is. What rap superstar was born Sean Corey Carter? No, not Eminem. That's Marshall Mathers. Um, Sean Coy Carter is Jay-Z. Jay-Z. Okay? So we still have that $2,000 in the pot. We shuffle. And it is Charlie's turn. Back to me? Yeah, it's back to you, Charlie. Thank you. Thank you. Um, okay. Um, I'm going to have to go with, um, sports. You want to go with sports and leisure? Yeah. Yeah, sports and leisure. Okay. Question on sports and leisure, Charlie. How many player bro strings are an electric guitar if half of them is broken? Again, how many... Playable strings are on are an electric guitar if half of them are broken. Is the answer three, four, or five? Um oh, I was playing one today in band. Oops. This should be easy uh, then. Oh six. I mean no no three, three, sorry. You going with three? Yeah. That's the right answer. Good job. I knew what he meant by that. He said there's six. He said there's six um, um, strings in the guitar, and he figured half of them is three. Nicely done, Charlie. All right. Nice job. Yeah. All right. Four thousand is in the pot. We shuffle. It's Justin's turn. Going to bonus category. I go with the bonus category. Three part question, Justin, and you must answer all three parts to get this box an extra turn, okay? I want you to give me three of the top ten reality shows for that box an extra turn. Okay, Justin, go ahead. I'll repeat it again. I'll repeat it one more time. Give me three of the top ten reality shows on TV according to the top tens.com website for that box and extra turn. Go ahead. I'm going to pass. Oh, he gave up quickly. What? Oh, oh I, wow. I was going to get to one of them. Yes. Is it the amazing Ray Yeah, that's number three. You know what's crazy about that? The Bachelor is not even in the top ten. Oh, 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 oh. Hey, I got one, I got one. Do I get to guess? Yeah. Uh, 
Um, I'm gonna have to go with Big Brother. That's number two. Good, Charlie. Nice job, Charlie. I think I might have got one. What is it? You said like reality TV shows, right? Correct. Yes. Keeping up with the Kardashians. Nope, that's not on the list. <laughs> Thank God that's not on the list. On the list. I'll read them. Right. I'm going to read them. Number 10 is Americans, America's Next Top Model. Number 9, Celebrity Apprentice. Number 8, Cops. Number 7, Fear Factor. Number 6, The Voice. Number 5, America's Got Talent. Number 4, American Idol. Number 3, Amazing Race. Number two, Big Brother, and the number one is Survivor. Oh. Survivor. Survivor, yep. So let's shuffle up that board. Uh. Fun fact, it's actually fake anyway. Yeah. Hi, <laughs> <All right>, Charlie. <laughs> no, I'm not kidding. My dad's in the film industry. It's actually fake. Really? Yeah. I'm going to Yeah, Charlie, I'm going to have to talk to you about that after the game. Yeah. Okay, well, actually, I guess, um... I think your list is incorrect, but never mind. Yeah. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's, your, it's your selection. Yeah, Charlie got jokes. Okay. Y'all better, y'all other guys better watch out. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to have to go with entertainment. Go with entertainment. Okay, go with entertainment. Question on entertainment is this. What Beyonce albums include the songs Formation, sandcastles, and hold up. Oh, are they? Are those all three? Like, do they belong to different like albums, or is that one album? It's one album. What Beyonce album includes the songs Formation, sandcastles, and hold up? Oh my gosh, I don't listen to Beyonce. Ugh. Okay, I don't know many. Um. um one album, and I think it's probably not this. I'm gonna make a very, very bad guess. Okay, what do you think? I know the buzzer went off. I'll give you another 15 seconds. Is it? Is it lemonade? No, no. Yeah, is, is, it, it, is it? Is that your answer? Y yeah. Lemonade is right. What? You got it. Oh, wow. oh, that's the only one. That's it. That was right, Charlie. That was a good guess. Good job. That was great, Charlie. I'm impressed. And folks, and folks in YouTube land, folks in YouTube land, I just want to let y'all know. I know the clock went off. Don't write in the comments saying that I cheated for anybody or y'all will be blocked. He's a kid. So that's why I gave him a little more time. Six thousand is in the pot and we shuffle. I'm proud of you, Charlie. Yes. Yep. All right, uh, Justin, what do you think? He's going again with the bonus category. Okay. Three-part question again. You must get all three parts correctly to get a, uh, that box an extra turn, okay? Alrighty. Alrighty. This is, is this for me? It's actually for Justin. Yeah, it's actually for Justin. Yeah. All right. Okay, sorry. Yeah, it's okay. All right, uh, Justin, give me three of the top ten basketball shoes for that box an extra turn. Go. Adidas. Adidas is number three. Go ahead. Nike. Number one. New Balance. Number ten. You got it. Oh, no. New and New Balance was actually the hard one. Good job. Now, what? let me read them off to you. Number ten is New Balance. Yeah. Number nine is Lening. I don't know what the hell that is. Well, I've yeah. Number eight is Anta. Number seven, Ewing Athletics. Number six is And One. Number five is Reebok. Number four is Under Armour. Number three is Adidas. Number two is Air Jordan. And number one is Nike. Nicely done, Justin. You get another turn. Rock and Nike are my popular, uh, they're popular ones in the 80s and 90s for me. Yep. Uh -oh. Now what's your desire, Justin? 
That's the jumping time. It's the jumping category. Okay, now, here's what I'm going to have y'all do. Now, <laughs> okay, Justin. All right. I don't believe this. I just don't believe this. Okay? Yeah. All right. That was me, I know. All right, we have to get that off the screen, or I'm gonna be paying for that copyright, y'all. Everybody, get that off the screen, cause I have to pay for that. Okay. All right. Yes. All right. Now, um, Justin, if you're gonna type the X key on the chat box to buzz in, okay? Yeah. And uh, and Charlie, you're gonna type the O key on the chat box to buzz in, okay? okay. And whoever yeah, totally buzzes right. in and get this question right, we'll get that box. In this case, Justin, if you get it right, you have tic-tac-doe and $10,000. And um, Charlie needs it for the block. Here it is. What was the first ever action figure? Is it A, Action Man, B, Superman, or C, G.I. Joe? All right, that's Charlie. Charlie buzzed in first. Um, Go ahead, Charlie. Wait, what were they again? Sorry. Action Man, Superman, or G.I. Joe? Action Man. I'm sorry, it's not Action Man, it's G.I. Joe, so that means Justin gets the win. Uh, Charlie, you made an effort, man. That was a nice try, okay. So, Justin, you got $8,000. And the the win forty four thousand five hundred dollars. Now, Charlie, I'm gonna tell you what you like this game. Yeah. Let me talk to the pro. What are y'all saying, producers? Uh, what 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 are y'all saying, really? All right. So, Charlie, the producers are letting me know that we're gonna let you play another game. Okay. Okay, so you you, uh, you lost this game, but if you lose the next one, it'll be over with, okay? Okay. All right. I'll be back, okay? All right. One second. All right. So, back to you, Justin. You ready to play the Beat the Gra Dragon game for this big jackpot? Yeah. All right, let's do the Beat the Dragon game! Spank that dragon. All right. All right, Justin, you know the object of the game. The goal is to get to $10,000 or get the ticket attack before seeing the dragon. Y'all were so good at picking him yesterday. Yeah. We just love that. Yeah. Now, uh, now, um, um, Maeve, are you ready to announce those prizes? Yes, I am. And Justin, this is what you can win. Good job, Maeve, and you're fired. <laughs> I'm, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, all right, so... <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, Justin. If you get the ticket attack on any of your picks, we give you a two hundred thirty-five thousand dollar bonus. But if you so happen to get it on your first two picks, we double that bonus to four hundred and seventy thousand dollars. That is history in the making. If that happens, yes, this total is history in the making too. All right, you ready to go, Justin? Let's cover up that board, and if you're ready, go ahead and start picking. Okay. Uh, four. Let's see what's behind number four. $2,500. Okay, do we stop or go, Justin? I'm going with one. Let's see what's behind number one. Top of the charge, baby. Oh, there's the tick now. If you find the tick, we give you a $235,000 bonus. And you have a shot and a new car. Do we stop or go, Justin? I'm going with two. If you think it's right next to each other, huh? Yep. Because if, if it is right next to that tick, you win $235,000. Let's see. 
No, it's fifteen hundred dollars. You have four thousand dollars. Do we stop or go? I'm going with five. Going with five. Is the tag button on the five? Hey, five thousand dollars. You have nine thousand dollars. Do we stop or do we go? This is the last pick. If you do go, let's go. Wait. What do you think? Three. All right. A thousand. Bless you. A thousand dollars will get you the prize package. Attack will give you the two hundred and thirty-five thousand dollar bonus with it. Let's see. You did it. Good job. Thirteen thousand dollars. And the prize package, so that means the jackpot goes up to $240,000. Let's see who we're going to have play the Dragon Finder game. I'm going to put, set it up on this um, thing. All right. So... We get the list randomizer going. We have Charlie. Mm -hmm. Well, we have to add Andrew it's here. Andrew. It's the teacher of Mr. Grace, Mr. Charlie. Yeah, Andrew. Then we have Charlie. Dante. Then we have uh, Dante. Then we have Eric. And then we have Jordan. Mr. Grace's school, Mr. Charlie. Yes. Now let's see who's going to go ahead and find that dragon. Oh, look at that. It's Charlie. Charlie, you're up. All right, Charlie, all you have to do is tell me where that dragon is, and we're going to give you forty-five a $4,500 bonus, Charlie. You just caught it. What did you say? You just caught it. Yeah, you are, you're going to pick. You see this? Numbers that are on the board that I left, six, seven, eight, and nine. Okay. All you have to do is tell me where that dragon is, uh, Charlie. Okay. Where do you think the dragon is? Six, seven, eight, or nine? Cool. I just... Yeah. You just where the number is to find the dragon. Right. I didn't see it, so... Um, what do you think the dragon seven. is? You think it's in seven? If it's in seven, we give you... He said seven, y'all? I need a confirmation. Did he say seven? Okay, seven. Okay, if it's in seven, Charlie, you got a $4,500 bonus. Let's see. No, it's not in seven. It's in number six. So not this time. Yep. So that means that, Justin, you have $49,344. We add your previous winnings of $44,500. That gives you a grand total of $93,844. All right, so we're going to have a rematch between Charlie and Justin just because the producers say that we deserve to give him another try. All right. So let's get to this next game. Okay, so we're in the next game. Justin has $93,844. And then Charlie, he's going to play again. Woo. Best game ever. Yep. All right. All right. Let's go ahead and reveal the board again. We still have the same trivia pursuit categories. We still have the $10,000 question on the board. We, we also have the bonus category. And then double or nothing. In the double or nothing category, if you uh, choose that category, and get the question right, you can choose to keep that box or risk it and pick another box. If you pick another box and get uh, get that question right, you'll get two boxes. But if you miss the question in that other category, you don't get any boxes, okay? So that's what double or nothing is about, okay? All right, Justin, 
Which category would you like to start with? $10,000 question. Bold move. A bold move right away. You get this question on a $10,000 question, $10,000 will be in the pot, okay? All right. All right. Is it true or false question? The book Green Eggs and Ham by Dr. Seuss was written using only 50 different words. Is that statement true or false? We put $10,000 in the pot! Uh, 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 Alright, we got $10,000 in the pot just like that and we shuffle. Let's do it again. Alright, Charlie. Yeah. Which category do you want? Can I only do the red ones or can I do blue? You can do any category that is revealed. Any category. Entertainment. Going with entertainment. Question on entertainment is this. And is it true or false? Hello Kitty's full name is Kitty White. True or false? I don't know. That's like a Japanese thing. Um, yes. Yeah. Yes. So, yes. You, so you're saying, yes. you're saying true, right? Yes. That's right. Good job. Yeah, it's true, yeah. Kitty's phone name is Kitty White, yes. $12,000 is in the pile of shuffle it. Justin. All right, uh, bonus. Going with the bonus category. Three-part question. Answer that three-part question correctly. You get another turn immediately. Okay, here it is. All right. Give me three of the top ten pet peeves. In other words, these are things that you really cannot stand, okay? Three of the top ten pet peeves for that box. An extra turn, Justin. Go ahead. Uh, stickers. Huh? Stickers. You said stickers? Yeah. No, I'm sorry. That is not it. That's not one of the three. <laughs> That's not one of the three. Pep peeves, no, no, that's wrong. Alright. Yeah, so here are the uh, answers, the top ten. Number ten was screaming children in temper tantrums. Number nine, people who throw trash from their car. Number eight, cell phone drivers. And in fact, I want to tell you about number eight. In Illinois, starting July 1st, there's going to be a law against people who uh, text on their cell phones while driving. They can't do it. Because you know why they can't do it? Too many car accidents. Yeah. So, and number seven, when people copy you in every way, those are copycats. Number six, the name of celebrity couples. Number five, nagging school girls. I would have also taken women. Number four, not washing your hands after using the restroom. Number three, poor driving etiquette. Number two, people who use the word your instead of you are. And the number one uh, answer is mouthful noises or choosing or chewing with your mouth open. Other words, belching. Yep. So that's the three pet peeves. We still have 12000 in the pot. Let's shuffle up that board. <laughs> and it is Charlie's turn. Okay. Oh, perfect. What, the one I wanted you didn't move. I'm going to do Star Sports and Leisure. Okay, he's doing Sports and Leisure. Two-part question, Charlie, and you'll get the extra time, okay? Okay. First, what fruit is... Dried to make raisins. That's the first one. And the second one, the highest belt color in karate is red. Is that statement true or false? Here's your time to think about both of them. The thing that's dried to make raisins are grapes. No, you have to wait. You gotta wait. You Hang wait. on. Gotta wait, gotta wait. What do you say, Charlie? I said the, the thing that 
is dried to make grapes is, I mean, to make raisins is grapes. That's right. And then true or false, the highest belt color in karate is red. Uh, false. What color is it? That's right, good job. We have fifteen thousand dollars in the pot and we shuffle. Justin's on the defensive now. Yes he is. And what do you think, Justin? Oh gosh. Arts and literature for the block. Going to arts and literature for the block. Question coming on arts and literature. In what country do the Bernstein Bears live? Bear country. Nicely done! He was scared of that one, was he? <laughs> but he got it. Seventeen thousand dollars in the pot. We shuffle. It's Charlie's turn. Um, I'm gonna do science, and nature. Going science and nature. Question on science and nature, Charlie. Okay. Bats are members of the bird family. Is that statement true or false? Are members of the bird family? Yeah. Um, I'm going to go with uh, false. Yeah, they're mammals. Bats are mammals. False is right. Good job. Well, nice job. Now we got a game. $19,000 is in the pot. Let's shuffle up that board. Charlie's doing big things here on Tic Tac Dunk. Yes. Hey, Charlie, is there anything you don't know? Um... I don't know the meaning of life. I think it's 32. That was a smart answer, Charlie. Very smart answer. All right. We don't know the meaning of life either. We don't. Yeah, and I'm 40. Yeah, Justin. Oh, boy. You're in a doozy. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I am in a predicament. <laughs> Come yes. on, Justin, you can do this. Uh, history. He's going with history. Question on history, Justin. What electric car making company was co-founded by Elon Musk? Again, what electric car making company was co-founded by Elon Musk? Toyota? Good try. No, it's not Toyota. The answer was Tesla. Tesla. Yes. Tesla. Tesla, yeah. 19,000 is still in the pot. We shuffle. All those luxury cars YouTubers get. Yep. Yeah. All right, Charlie, what's your desire? I have to do geography blue. And oh, wait, 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 wait. Before I say that, can you do diagonal? Huh? Yeah, you can do it diagonally. I'm going to do geography, even though I failed that class, but, you know, whatever. Well... <laughs> Well, this is a hard one for you then, but if you get this question right on geography, you'll win the game, $21,000, and you'll be the champion, Charlie. Okay, I'll try my best. Here it is. <laughs> Ugh, it's a hard question, Charlie. Here it is. Oh, if I get this right, I'm going to cry. Yes. Breathe, Charlie, breathe. Breathe hard. Here it is. What city is known as the Big Apple? I'm gonna, I'm gonna assume that it's New York City. Yeah, Tic Tac, go! Well, Charlie won his first game. Twenty-one thousand dollars. He's the new champion, and he's gonna go ahead against that dragon for a lot of money, Charlie. Over two hundred and something thousand dollars, two hundred forty thousand dollars, as a matter of fact. And Justin, you played a good game. You have won a total of $93,844, and our congratulations, okay? All right. Hey, Charlie, you said you'd, uh, you'd cry. You, you said you'd cry if you get it right. Well, here's your cry. <laughs> well, Charlie, how does it feel? <laughs> well, Charlie, how does it feel to get that first win? Um, uh, I'd like to thank the Academy. <laughs> Shout out to Rodney, what a guy. Yeah. Um, uh, <laughs> oh, also to the doctor that broke me. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be so good. 
<laughs> yeah. Yes. Oh, are you ready to do the beat the dragon game, Charlie? I'm ready for the dragon. Let's do the beat the dragon game. Now, Charlie, you know what will be exciting if you win this jackpot right now. Now, you know the object of the game. The goal is to get to ten thousand dollars or more before seeing the dragon. Now. You can take any money on the board along the way if you need to. If you have fear of the dragon, it'll be yours to keep. However, if you manage to get $10,000 or more before seeing that dragon, if you do go all the way, we have these prizes for you. May. All right, Charlie. This is what you can win. I took a point. Uh, it was a seat set. Computer cabinet and a Dell computer. There are side of it. It was a sleep set. Thank you, Mave. Okay, now, uh, now, Charlie, if you manage to get the tick and attack on any of your picks, we give you a two hundred forty thousand dollar bonus. Okay, but if you do it on your first two picks, we double that bonus to four hundred eighty thousand dollars. And a shy a new car. Let's cover up that board. You can get assistance if you want to, Charlie. So I just have to wait. So I just have to pick one that I want to get money for, or whatever. Yeah, and uh, whatever money is behind there, you get to keep. I'm gonna go with eight. Number eight. Let's see what's behind number eight. Five thousand dollars. That is a fast start, Charlie. Now you can choose to keep that five thousand dollars if you want to. Or stop and take that money and add it to your total. What do you want to do? I'm going to go with four. He's going with number four. Remember, if you hit the dragon, you lose the 5000 Let's see what's behind number four. No dragon. $1,000. You have $6,000 now. Do we stop and take the $6,000 and walk away? Or do we go on and uh, risk it? I'm going to go with nine. Number nine. Now, $4,000 is behind nine, Charlie. You win the prize package. Let's see what's behind number nine. $1,500, you at $7,500. Do we take the $7,500 and stop, or do we risk it for uh, that prize package? I'm going to go with five. He's going for with number five. It's $2,500 is behind number five. You get the prize package. Let's see what's behind number five. He does it. Nicely done, Charlie. You have won the prize package. That means that that jackpot goes up to $245,000. And uh, let me go ahead and we're going to put Justin's name on here. Congratulations, Charlie. Let's see who's going to play. All right, Maeve. All right, Maeve. Is Maeve there? Oh, oh, Maeve. Oh, Maeve. Like Dante is, uh, Dante is like, he said he'd be... All right, Dante is off. Okay. Justin, are you still there? Is Justin still there? He is. Yes, I am. All right, Justin. Yes, I am. Of those five numbers that are on the board, where do you think the dragon is? Number two. All right, if number two has the dragon, you get a five... Thousand dollar bonus. Let's see it. No, it was the tag. The tag. All right. So, uh, so uh, Charlie, nicely done. You have won fifty nine. Let me see. Make sure I add this right. I, I, I jumped ahead of myself. You have thirty eight thousand three hundred sixty four dollars there. We had the twenty one thousand. Now you have fifty nine thousand three sixty four. We we'll make sure we we'll show it up there. Yeah, $59,364, and we're going to play one more game. That means that, Jordan, you're going to play next, okay? All right, I've been waiting. 
So Jordan will play against Charlie, and then we're done for the evening because we have that ball game. All right, so nicely that is nicely done. Now, Jordan, are you doing the adult questions or the kids questions? Which one are you doing, uh, uh, Jordan? The adult questions or the kids questions, Jordan? That's good. You're going to stick with the kids questions, okay? We're going to let that go by. We're going to do one more game, and then we're done for the evening. All right. You know, let's, like Canadian yes. Let's reveal the board now. Now we have double or nothing. We have the $10,000 question and opponent's choice for the red categories. And Charlie, which category would you like to begin with? Um, I am going to go with... Um, yeah, I'm going to go with uh, sports. Sports and leisure, okay. Question on sports and leisure, Charlie. What shape is a baseball field? Is it A, rectangle, B, circle, or C, a diamond? Um, uh, diamond. Diamond is right. Good job. Oh, yeah. I'm about to watch baseball in a minute. We're going to see the Chicago White Sox. Lay the smack down the Chicago Cubs! Yep, so here we go. Let's shuffle. Very good, Ronnie. Very good. Thank you, sir. Jordan, which category? I'll go with uh, entertainment. Going with entertainment. Question on entertainment. Here it is. In, in what movie does an alien race called the Boov, that's B-O-O-V, takes over the Earth? Oh, my God. I knew what the movie was, but now I, now I forgot. I'm sorry. No guesses? Okay. The answer was home. 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 I knew it was home. Okay, that was all. What happened? Yep. Home. Okay. All right. Let's uh, shuffle up that ca the board here. All right, Charlie, where would you like to go? Uh, sports again. Sports and leisure. Okay. It's a two-part question this time. It's worth $3,000. You get the extra time. Here it is. Okay. What's for Canadians in sports? Yeah. Here's your question. Look at it. I like you. Anyway. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. Here's, okay, yeah. Yeah. Here's the question, Charlie. How many basic positions are there in ballet? That's the first one. And the second one, in what activity might teammates chant Go team and use pom poms. Here's your time to think about both of them. What was the second question? You cut out. And what activity might teammates chant go team and use pom poms? I'll repeat it again. First, how many basic positions are there in ballet? And the second one, and what activity might teammates chant go team and use pom poms? I'll give you 10 seconds to think about that, Charlie, and then I'll give you that an the chance to answer. Okay. My sister did ballet, and she always talks about it, so I probably know the answer to that. And do I have to say a specific one first? Yeah, you want to do the ballet one first? Uh, sure. All right, how many basic positions are there in ballet? Okay, so she was kind of teaching me ballet this weekend, so I'm assuming... Well, from what she told me, and I hope she's not lying, please do me good, sister. Five, maybe? Yeah, five. Your, your sister is right, and you're right. Five is right. Now, for the center box, and what activity my teammates chant, go team, and use pom-poms? Um, I'm going to go with cheerleading. Nicely done. That's right. Wow. $5,000 is in the pile of shuffle it. Scott's. And it's back to you, Jordan. God, I gotta get this kid off track. Uh, 
Uh, well, you know what? Screw it. I'll just go with sports and leisure for the block. Go on, sports and leisure for the block question. What is the hole where you sit in a kayak call? And that buzzer lets us know that time is up. So, um, this is going to be the last game, and then we're going to do the Beat the Dragon game, and then end the episode, okay? Here it is. What is the hole where you sit in a kayak called? Is it A, cockpit, C, or rather, let me read that again. What is the hole where you sit in a kayak called? Is it A, cockpit, B, crow's nest, or C, cage? Can you, can you repeat the answers again? A, cockpit. B, crow's nest, or C, cage? I have to say crow's nest. Crow's nest is wrong. Shite. The answer is cockpit. Cockpit. Wait, wait, wait. A kayak? Yeah, the question was, where is the that hole where you sit in a kayak called? You said um, cage, and that's wrong. It's a cockpit. Wait, what? No, I didn't say cage. I said, I said crow's nest thing. Oh, uh, well, it's still wrong. It's still wrong. It's still wrong. It's cockpit. Yep. We shuffle. Make sure, I had to make sure that everyone got that right that I said that, right? Yep. All right, uh, Charlie. Ooh, again, history class. I failed this too. History. If history for the uh, win. You get this question right on history, Charlie. Tic-tac-toe. $7,000 and your winnings will be at $66,364. Okay. Which Greek's body was invincible except for his foot? Is it A, Achilles, B, Hercules, or C, Hector? Um, Hector? I'm sorry, that's the wrong answer, Charlie. I'm sorry. It. Where is it? Achilles. Achilles is right. Yes, yeah, Achilles. Yeah, that was a tough one. Five thousand still in the pot. Jordan's still in the game. We shuffle. All right, Jordan. Oh, you gotta be okay. Whatever. Uh, history for the block. All right, let's see if you get this one. All right, Peter the Great of Russia imposed a tax on beards. Is that statement true or false? Peter the Great opposes a tax on beer. Peter the Great of Russia imposed a tax on beards. True or false? I'm going to take a wild guess. Uh, true? True is right. He wanted Russian men to look more like Western Europeans. That is right. Oh, thank God. Yeah. $7,000 is in the pile to shuffle up that board. Thank God, God, God. <laughs> <laughs> guess, Jordan. Yeah. Charlie. I'm going to do the $10,000 question. Woo, boldness. <laughs> boldness. Now, you know these questions are tough, uh, uh, Charlie, but if you get it right, it's $17,000 in the pot, okay? Mm -hmm. Here's your question. What pear-shaped human body organ stores bile from the liver until it's needed to aid digestion? Can you read the question again? I think I didn't get one of your words. Yes, yes, sir. What pear-shaped what pear human body organ stores bile from the liver until it's needed to aid digestion? I'm going to go with um, stomach. Very close. It's not exactly the stomach. No, that's very close. The answer the answer was gallbladder. The gallbladder. Oh, my God. I don't even know what that is. Yeah. Actually, actually, I think I might know what it is. I think it had something to do with, you know, having, uh, like, little problems when it comes, like, you know, in your stomach part. But because I know this because my brother, you know, he actually had gallbladder surgery back in February. Right, I already said the answer, Jordan. Yeah. yeah so, same thing for my mother, too. Yeah, so it's, it is 
gallbladder. The, but that was a good try, uh, Charlie. We shuffle. Yeah. That was a good try. All right, and it is Jordan's turn. All right. Well, I'll... What the heck, double or nothing? Let's go with double or nothing. And I will repeat again what the double or nothing entails. I'm going to read you this question. You get it right. You can choose to keep that box or risk it for another box if you want to, Jordan. But you got to get this oh, question oh. right first, okay? I remember that. Yeah, I'll, I'm ready. Okay. Which phrase does not mean good morning? Is it A, buenos dias, B, guten morgen, or C, au revoir? Can you repeat those, three, those answers again because you got cut off on the end? Yes. What phrase does not mean good morning? Is it A, buenos dias, B, guten morgen, or C, au revoir? I think au revoir. That's right. That means goodbye. That's right. Now, are we going to keep that box or are we risking it for another box, Jordan? Let's ri risk it. Which category? Well, I guess that, that, that that's, a, that's a good point right there. Mm -hmm. I, mean, I know Canadians do speak well, French. Well, well, anyway, I will say let's try entertainment. All right, entertainment. You get this question right. On entertainment, Jordan, you'll have both boxes. If you miss this one, you'll lose both boxes. Here it is. What is Scrat in the film Ice Age? Is it A, Wooly Mammoth, B, Sloth, or C, Sabertooth Squirrel? Uh, Sabertooth Squirrel. That is right. You got both boxes. I know this because I've watched Ice Age. Oh, good job. $11,000 is in the pot. We shuffle. All right, Charlie. Okay. okay. I'm going to do geography again. I failed this class, so I'm going to probably do really bad. Geography. What did you get lucky break off of? Yeah, geography for the block. You may get this right. We'll see what happens. Here it is. Where in the world... Would you find the main ingredient of the dish calamari? Is it A, in the sea, B, in a tree, or C, in the sky? Um, in the sea? You know what calamari is? Yes, calamari is found in the sea. You know what it is? Squid. It's squid, very nice. Yes. Yes, yeah, squid. I had that before. It tastes just like real fish. It's good. Did, yeah. So you're bad geography, but yet you're good at these at these answers. I, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm on. fishing town, so you know. Yes. So we have $13,000 in the pot. Let's shuffle up that board. What do you think, Jordan? <sighs> well, no use beating about the bush. Uh, wait, is that 10,000 uh, question available too, or, am I, or is that bo no, void? No. It's available. Screw it. I'll take it. Going to 10,000 now question. Okay. All right. We'll see what happens with that. Okay. Get, okay. Get this question right on the 10,000 now question. The pot will be at $23,000. Here it is. Is that a first? No. Here it is. Let's make it first. Here it is. Actually, we got the $10,000 earlier today. Here it is. What kind of baseball hit is referred to as a can of corn? What kind of baseball hit is the type of can of corn? What kind of baseball hit is referred to as a can of corn? Sorry. Bless you. Um, hmm, is it like, um, is it like that, you know, the type of foul? No, I can't accept that, that's wrong. Yeah, specifically, a can of corn in baseball is called an easy fly ball, or you could have said pop fly. 
One of those two would have been acceptable. So 13,000 still in the pot. We shuffle. And it is uh, Charlie's turn. Science nature might get I'm feeling that too. Really? Okay, wow. I'm, I'm gonna go with science nature. I'm feeling a lot of class. I need to, it's the end of the year. I need to get this in order. Yes, get it here. But if you get this question right on science and nature, you won't fail. You have $15,000 and your wins will be at $75,364. Okay? Okay, I'm ready. Here's your question Which of these animals is not a mammal? Is it a leopard? B, crocodile, or C, badger? Which is not a mammal? Yes. Um, I'm going to have to go with crocodile. You may be failing in your classes and stuff, but on my show, it's Tic Tac Do! What? <laughs> A, a crocodile is a reptile. Yeah, a crocodile is a reptile. Nicely done, Charlie. You have another fifteen thousand dollars. Your winnings are now at seventy um um four thousand three hundred sixty-four dollars. And you're gonna go against that dragon shortly. Uh Jordan, he gave you a run for your money, and uh we'll definitely have you for another game, okay? I'm gonna beat the kid. Yes, yes, yes. Well, Charlie, you ready to go against that dragon, hopefully for a lot of money? Mm -hmm. Yep. That was a good game, though. I think the kid beat you. Yes, he did. Yep. Thank you. Hey, that's all I want to hear. You're, you're, you're the only person today that's actually told me that. Yes, yes, yes. Well, Charlie, how do you feel, man? Quirky. You ready to get after this dragon? Yeah. You ready to whoop his ass? <laughs> all right, let's do the beat the dragon game. It's a PG show. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's a family show, man. What the fuck? Yeah. I uh if you and uh and um Charlie if you do whip his ass like you did before, here's what you'll win. Does everybody have that finger on that All point? right, this is what you can win, Charlie. Is there a hockey table? A trip to Auckland, New Zealand. A spare. <laughs> a trip to London. Living through fast sweet there. A trip to Venice. And the ticket is worth $38,000 for him. Damn it! The Cubs just scored! Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! Yeah, we're back. Thank you. Thank you. I'd have got in trouble, did I? Wait, do you have to find the dragon? Or wait, do you have to find the dragon or get money? No, you have to get money. You have to get $10,000. You have to get $10,000 first before you get the dragon, Charlie. If you do that, you'll win the prize package, okay? Which I probably will. Wait. Oh, yeah, he's confident. Now, if you get the tick and attack. Yeah, you get the tick and attack on your picks, we give you $245,000, Charlie. During your first two picks, we double that bonus to $490,000 and a shot and a new car. Let's get going. Here we go. I love to see you, Charlie, get win that jackpot. Hang on one second. Is Lori coming up? Hey, Lori. Hey, girl. Hey, we're uh, just about we're just about to finish this game, sweetheart. We're about to do the beat the dragon game. Oh, thank you, Bobby. Yep. Charlie. Yep. All right, Charlie. Go ahead and select your uh, number. Charlie's going with number seven. Let's see what's buying number seven. Oh! Now, Charlie? Charlie? Guys, somebody remind him what has just happened. Wait, so what happened? I'm, I'm still confused. Yeah, somebody remind him for me. If your next pick is 
So t- number two. We'll win the biggest jackpot we had in a while. And then you get a shot at a new car. I'm going to go. Is it my turn? Yeah. It's still your turn. Yeah, you. You're the, whole, you're the only one playing. This year's the bonus round. I'm going to go with two. Charlie, they know their role. Now, Charlie, if number two has tick, we'll double that bonus to $490,000. It'll be the biggest jackpot ever on the Beat the Dragon game. Let's see what's buying number two. No! Damn it. Well, that dragon got you, Charlie. I am sorry about that. Let's see where you should have went, Charlie. Where was the tick? Where was the tick? I believe number nine. Tick was in number four. Tick was in number four. But Charlie... Charlie, here's something that the dragon cannot cannot take away from you, okay? The dragon cannot take your $74,364, okay? Okay. And uh, you got, are you available Thursday to play? Um, maybe. I May- maybe, okay. But uh, if you're not available, we'll keep your wings on hold, okay? And uh, we, we do have pressure luck on tomorrow and car chart. So, did everybody have a good time? Thank you. I will, I will. Well, right, well, guys, this is Rodney1279 signing off saying be safe, be careful, take care, everybody, and stay blessed. Goodbye, y'all. Man, that damn dragon. I, I I feel like I feel like going in the back of the board and beating his ass. I'm serious. Uh, somebody needs to get their finger on the button right now. Right. Uh, Let's get Charlie Ovation. Let's get Charlie Ovation. Yes, sweetie. Uh, See y'all guys later. Hey, baby. Hey, Aaliyah. I'm talking. Hey, Aaliyah. Hey, baby. The baby is moving, y'all. No, dear, I'm done. I'm done. Yeah, I'm actually finished. Look at this. 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 Look